This is my daughter. She's perfect. Yeah. Early on, about three months, four months in, Ava was diagnosed with cerebral palsy. And we had no idea what that entailed. And even at that age, you just don't know what she would be capable of. Fortunately, we live in California and in San Diego where there's a lot of resources. And this is one of the first resources we came to here at CCS. All of the kids we see have a physical disability, physical limitation. So we work on strengthening, improving range of motion, helping the kids get around their environment. And then the OTs help uh, kids learn how to help themselves. So feed themselves and even participate in play when they're really, really young. One, two, three. Oh, oh. good job. Most families, when they first come in, sometimes they don't even know what physical and occupational therapy can do for their child. Um, you know, but we orient them, they see other kids in the clinic, and so they kind of realize the th types of things that we work on. She's changed so much over the past two years with the therapy. Um, you know, like I said, she can roll over, she's, she can reach for things, she can, I can say, do you want up? And she can lift her arms up and show me that she wants up. But CCS has just been wonderful. Very good. Wow. Good, good pushing. Push with those arms. The great thing about our program is that you don't need to financially qualify. You don't pay any money for their services. If you have a child that has one of these uh, medical conditions, the therapy services are free. And basically, as long as there are needs of the child, like we see the children until they're 21 years old. And so we get to see them through their lifetime and help them in different pieces of their life that they need help. CCS therapy, it's invaluable. It's just so much of what Ava's, how she's grown and how she's learned to move and do things for herself is because of the therapy we get at CCS. Even though they have a disability and they have difficulty moving, you know, we encourage them to go out in their communities. We even will meet with them at the YMCA to transition them to community recreation and all of that aligns with the vision of Livewell San Diego to get out in the communities and be healthy. I believe that she's going to be able to do everything in her potential. Um, we're hoping she'll walk talk, she'll definitely communicate and through all these therapies it's gonna, it's gonna help us get there.